Hey, good morning kids. It's a beautiful day here in the Shenandoah Valley next to the Appalachian Mountains. If you'll remember uh, last time we did an April Fool's joke. We did a book with no pictures and said that we would read a book with pictures this time, which we will. And at the end of that, I said that it was five years ago, April 1st, that Meg and I moved to West Virginia and how much we like it here. So I thought today it would be great to read a book written and illustrated by real West Virginians. And this book is called The Princess and the Pickup Truck. And the fellow who wrote its name is Bill Lepp. He is a songwriter, a story writer, and a storyteller. He's on the radio. He writes books for kids. He does all sorts of creative things, and he lives down in Charleston, West Virginia. And the woman who illustrated it, her name is Lottie Looney, and she was a teacher in Charleston, West Virginia. So at any rate, today we're going to read a book about the mountains, written by people from the mountains. The Princess and the Pickup Truck. This should be interesting. The Princess and the Pickup Truck. I happen to have an autographed copy. There's Bill Lepp's signature right there. Y'all, y'all listen up. Once there was this prince who wanted to marry himself a princess. He lived on a farm, a grange, on a mountain range. He wanted to marry a real mountain princess. Trouble was, there were not any around. So he set out to trek the mountains of the world. So he left his little home in West Virginia and was going to go find a mountain princess. He ascended the Appalachians and the Alps. He cruised the Caucasus. He roamed the Rockies and hiked the Himalayas. He went to Glass Mountain, checking for ladies wearing just one shoe. He searched the Sierras for ladies in tiaras. He's out on the road in his pickup truck, traveling the world. He met many ladies who said they were princesses, but it was hard to tell who was a real princess because, well, let's face it, princess costumes just aren't that expensive. So he slouched home and wept to his mama. Mama, I can't find a princess who I know for sure ain't a fraud. I even kissed some of them frauds, hoping they'd turn into a princess. His mama said, honey, don't go kissing frauds. You'll get warts. So here are a bunch of girls dressed up in costumes, but doesn't mean they're a real princess. And then here's our guy in his pickup truck with a frog on top. He heard that if you kissed a frog, it might turn into a princess, not a fraud, which is somebody pretending to be what they're not. Got to keep our eyes on this guy. That evening, a terrible storm come up. There was wind and thunder and lightning and snow and hail and branches blowing off trees and all matter of whatnot. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. See this here? Big storm over here. There was a knock at the door. Here's the dog. The dog can't speak, but he thinks, knock on our door and I will sing you the song of my people. I think that means he barked at the doctor. Great pictures, huh, from Lottie Looney. The prince opened the door, and right there were three princesses. He was so excited when they said, Trick or treat. Oh, shucks. So this must be their Halloween, eh? And they were dressed up as princesses. The next day, the sun shone bright, and a princess walked up the road. Howdy, I'm a princess, a real mountain princess, she proclaimed, but she didn't look like a princess. Did princesses wear hiking boots and calico dresses and walk around with their hair in messes? The 
there she is. A sunny morning, showing up saying, I'm a mountain princess. He presented the princess to his mama. Mama took the prince aside and said, I ain't sure she ain't a fraud. We'll just have to test her. What we'll do is, you go pile up 20 mattresses on your pickup truck. Then we'll let her sleep on them mattresses atop the truck. If she don't notice she's sleeping on a pickup truck, we'll know she's the real deal. So they're going to test her to see if she's a real princess. Meanwhile, if you'll notice the dog down here, he can't talk, but he thinks he's thinking of food. I think that's what dogs think about a lot. A bucket of bones. But mama, we ain't got 20 mattresses. We got three regular mattresses, an air mattress, and a blow-up raft, whispered the prince. Well, use what you got. So he did. When he was done, he said, Mama, how is she not going to notice a pickup truck under a heap of mattresses? I mean, I got that pickup so princesses would notice me. How's that working for you? asked Mama. She pondered on the problem, and then she snapped her fingers and said, Meanwhile, that's what a pickup truck looks like if you pile it up with mattresses. Dust ruffle! That night, they showed the princess to her bed. Mm, your bed is out here in the driveway up on top of this pile of stuff. Nothing weird about that, right? Well, here's what Mama did. She took a dust ruffle off the bed, and they put the dust ruffle over the pickup truck, and they put the mattresses with the blow-up wrap on top on the back of the pickup truck. And he says, nothing weird about that, right? Mm-hmm. She climbed right up and fell right off to sleep. So she climbed up, Use the ladder. There she is on the blow-up raft with the pump. First, she counted her sheep, right? All different colors. And look at this dream. She dreams she's riding on a purple bunkin' Bronco. Over here, the bees are out in the flowers. She's underneath the rainbow, and she is apparently singing a song while she's sleeping, dreaming in her sleep. And if you look closely, you'll see an upside-down frog at the top of the page. Quite a dream. You'd probably dream, too, if you were sleeping on a pickup truck. When they were sure she was zonked, Mama handed the prince the keys and said, Now, you go drive around. Go uphill, downhill, on bumpy roads, and on curvy roads. If she don't notice she's on a pickup truck, we'll know she's a real mountain princess. But, Mama, that's dangerous. She might fall off. Mama made a shushing motion and said, Clamp it. I got an idea. Getting ready to go for the keys. She's going to drive her around while she's sleeping up there. It's more complicated every minute. Mama rigged up a seatbelt. The prince was reluctant, but did as his mama said. He put the truck in gear and bumped off down the road. He went downhill. He went uphill. On bumpy roads, on curvy roads. He's driving her all over the place, around the scarecrow. The sign over here says, up, down, up, down, up, down. Meanwhile, she's strapped to the top of the pickup truck. He put it in four-wheel drive so he could ford a stream. He dodged a ram. He drove across the tundra. He is driving. She's still snoring up here. <sighs> Meanwhile, he's going all across the states, all across the mountains. There's penguins, there's walruses, there's a polar bear. He's taking a trip with her. Doesn't wake her up, though. Finally, he was so tired, he could hardly stay awake. And drowsy driving is dangerous driving. So he drove home and parked the truck. The princess was snoring in a most unprincess-like manner. And you'll notice that the picture saw on wood. That's what people call snoring. 
If they're snoring, they'll say, you are sawn wood. So if you hear your parents snore, the next morning you can say, Dad, were you sawn wood last night or just snoring? The next morning she came in for breakfast with a smile on her face. Morning, she said. How'd y'all sleep? Fine, but that was a lie. They had slept awful because all their mattresses were on the truck. How do you sleep? I slept great. She said, I slept great. Best night of sleep I ever had. Dreamt I was riding a bunkin' bronco all night long. And they knew she was a real mountain princess. Nobody but real mountain royalty can sleep on a pickup like that. And they lived happily ever after, sometimes in two-wheel drive, sometimes in four-wheel drive, but they always managed to thrive. So there he is in his pickup truck, driving his new princess and new wife back to their little house in West Virginia. He's got his guitar, his dog, his pickup, and his princess, that must be one happy fella. The princess in the pickup truck. But let me ask you all a question then. You know, this reminds me of the story, The Princess and the Pea, where a princess with a crown in a big palace could not sleep because she felt a pea under her mattress, a little tiny pea. And they kept piling up mattresses. Oh, but she was so sensitive she could feel the pea and wasn't happy. So the question here is, if you lived in West Virginia, what type of person would you look for to be your best friend or your partner in life? Wouldn't you want somebody that knows what she wants, is who she is, is honest, hardworking, straight ahead, and has a good heart? That's what I think this story is all about. It's about finding the person that's right with you who has the best qualities for you. So that's something to think about. Think about your friends, list all their best qualities. Think about what you really like in them. And then maybe in this time when we're not in school and we're staying apart from each other, you could give them a phone call and tell them how much you like them. At any rate, a great book from West Virginia, written by West Virginians for West Virginians. And if you happen to be seeing this and you're not in West Virginia, well, take it for the message that's there. And hopefully you will find a genuine prince, princess, to be in your life. Thanks, guys. See you next time.